Hey guys, today I'm gonna give some love to some Final Cut Pro tutorials here on YouTube that I think are underrated and you need to see. I know there's a lot of tutorials for Final Cut here on YouTube, so you may have missed these ones. I'm gonna link to all of them down below, but make sure you check out this whole video because there's some good stuff in here. Let's get into it. The first video I gotta give some love to is from the channel Brad and Donna. It's how to create an impact shake effect in Final Cut. What I love about this tutorial is that Brad really lays out how to create a really cool impact shake effect from everything about what shots this works best for and then how to make that shake most impactful. He really lays out all the things he considers when applying this effect. I found it super helpful, really interesting. It's a great effect and and Brad does a great job of explaining it. The next tutorial I definitely think you need to see is how to make a puzzle transition with Final Cut Pro and Photoshop from the channel King Tuts Pro or King Toots Pro. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce his channel name, but it doesn't matter because this effect is really cool. It's something he spotted on Instagram and he deconstructs for us how he creates this effect in Final Cut Pro. Now he uses Photoshop to cut out his photo images. You could also do that in Pixelmator Pro pretty easily. So whatever photo editing software you use, it doesn't really matter because once you bring it into Final Cut, the process is super simple. What I love about this tutorial and this effect is that sometimes when I have clients insist on incorporating photos into my longer videos, I can't stand it because I do feel like the photos sort of bring the momentum of the video to a halt, but this is such a cool way to incorporate photos into a video. And I definitely think it would speed up your editing flow as opposed to slow it down. So I love this tutorial. You should definitely check it out. All right, my next tutorial is from Ripple Training. In this one, my boy Mark Spencer shows you how to speed up your editing in Final Cut Pro with what he calls the press and hold method. This is something I didn't even know about until I watched this tutorial, and it does, in fact, speed up your editing. I love this video, Mark. What a great job you did with this. He shows all the different ways he uses this press and hold technique with different types of edits, and it really makes things faster. This is such a great great tutorial if you're into shortcuts, if you're into doing things faster. So definitely check it out. Watch the whole thing if you haven't seen it already. All right, the next tutorial, I have to give myself a little bit of a shout out here. It is my scopes tutorial, scopes for beginners. If you're new to scopes, if you're intimidated by scopes, this is definitely the video for you. I show you how to use video scopes while you edit so you can feel super empowered and confident when making color grades or adjusting the exposures of your shots. This tutorial keeps it simple. It's really just everything you need to know as an editor. So don't be afraid of those scopes. Check out that video. I know you're going to learn a lot and you're going to love it. And my last pick is from the channel that I have to give the award for the best YouTube channel name in history. It is Final Cut Bro. Dylan Bates. Dylan Bates is such a great creator here on YouTube. I'm sure you know who he is, but if you don't, you definitely need to know. And my pick from Dylan Bates is five sound design essentials you need to know in Final Cut Pro. I did not realize how lazy I am with my audio editing in Final Cut Pro. Dylan takes sound editing in Final Cut to a new level, but super easily. He applies really interesting effects to sound effects and music in Final Cut that really add to the story storytelling in his videos, and I felt so inspired after watching this. I can't wait to try out many of these techniques in my own projects because he really shows you how to make them work and when is the right time to use them, and I felt very inspired after watching this video. You definitely want to check it out. You guys, what other creators do you love on Final Cut? Let's all give them some love down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you again.